Hey everybody, I am DeGroot, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, Episode 3. And the last episode, we got our pewter badge, and you got to see my shiny Beedrill. That was a crazy, crazy thing to have happen. Lucky that I didn't kill it. But today, we'll be moving on from Pewter City. We're going to head out. We gotta go to Cerulean City. Hey, it's one of Professor Oak's aides. Let's see. Oh, DeGroot! Huh. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. DeGroot received the running shoes from, <laughs> from the aide. That's funny, you don't look like my mom. So we switch to shoes, and I press the B button to run. Now could you imagine if you had to push a button to run? Like, hang on, I need to run. Alright, turbo engaged. <laughs> uh, but only when there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye! <laughs> there's a letter attached? Dear D. Groot. Here is a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. Have a surrender? From Mom. Oh, I thought it was from Professor Oak. Alright, thanks, Mom. So now, I can run! Woohoohoohoo! Oh, yeah! Alright. Oh, quick recap. So, uh, off screen, I did a little bit of grinding. No changes, no real new changes, but everybody's up to level 13 now. So, I feel like we're at a good spot uh, for moving forward. Let's roll. Uh, just in case she uses a plant type, I'm not 100% sure what she uses, but let's do it. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Well, I mean. Was I staring? No. Was it staring? Ah, it's a pigeon. Everything burns. Good job, Flint. Burn that sucker. Ghost attack, come on. Oh yeah, I did get Metal Claw when I leveled up, which would be nice uh, later on down the road. What you got? Another Pidgey? Let's go ahead and switch to Pikachu. Ready to love, baby. Ready to love. Go, Pikachu. Use the Thundershock attack. I don't know if I'm going to keep Pikachu. I mean, eventually I'll uh, evolve it into a Raichu, but I don't know. Can't remember if Electabuzz is on this one or not. I might be curious to run through uh, the power plant. While, I'm, while I will more than likely catch the legendaries on this, uh, I don't know if I'll actually use them in battle. You know, I kind of want to challenge myself. Let's see, we got a bug trainer. Good chance for Beedrill to get some XP. Showing off my shiny Beedrill. You saw me in Viridian Forest? Man, dude's like everywhere. And yet, he still has a Caterpie. How sad for you. It's going to die. Oh, yeah. Ha ha, you missed. What well, a loser. <laughs> It'd be really cool to find some more shiny. I know that's all the craze right now, but boy, is it hard to get shiny. I was like 50 EVs in on the Pokemon Sword, and I was just like, uh, 
I gotta go through and delete, you know, delete, release all these extra. I just don't know what to do with them all. There's too many. But there are some really cool shinies out there. Like, I would love it if I could have got a Charmander. That black Charizard. Beautiful. He's beautiful. I do dabble in the Pokemon Go. I have quite a few on there. Much easier to catch on there. I suppose I can always migrate them over to... Uh, Let's go Pikachu, and then that'll give me a chance to have it, but yeah. really not that big a deal. For me, it's more of like a, eh, it'd be cool to catch one, but like I'm not going to obsess over it. And that's right, that wore me out. <laughs> Get him, Pidgey. Alright, defeated Colt and the Bug Catcher. Let's move on from you. Actually, let's see. I think you're gonna have like a Ratata, so let's go ahead and put Mankey out there. I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Aha! I like that they added the word delightfully. I forgot they did that. It's the most random things like, ah, shorts are comfy and easy to wear. Oh, <laughs> okay. Alright, man. Haha! -ha! I called it right on the Ratata. Ratatata. Ratatata. Oh. Come on, doofus. Pay attention. Yeah, it's a freebie, Ratata. Enjoy. Karate chop. You're in the. Oh. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, I deserve that. I deserve that. <clears throat> ah, I deserve that. Ah, Ooh, Ekans. So that is a poison type, so we're gonna go switch over to Butterfree so we can use Confusion. Alright. Tell you what I'm gonna do. After this battle, I'm gonna wipe out the rest of these fools. And then we'll meet back at the rock tunnel. How's that sound? Alright, I'll see you then. After after I beat the Ethics. Because there's really no major story parts in between them, so uh, we can skip this section. But I gotta get my trigger on, so but there we go. Alright. Bye Ekans! Did you know that Ekans backwards is snake? The more you know. And uh, muck backwards gets you banned from YouTube and Twitch. Anyway, I'll see you at the Rock Tunnel. Derp. I think it's called Rock Tunnel. I don't know. See you there. Oh yeah, let's run. Talk to this guy. Phew, that better take a rest, you groan. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Does it now? I guess walking is a strenuous activity. Yes. Oh wow, that's a boulder bed. You got it from Brock, didn't you? <coughs> Shouldn't do this after eating. <coughs> Brock is cool, he's not just tough. People like and respect him. I want to become a gym leader like him. Well, you get some level 12 useless Pokemon, you're halfway there. And let's heal. Ooh, now here's a question. Do I or do I not buy the magic art? Hmm. You know what? I I'm gonna spend my money on more important things. Alright, so, nobody says anything important there. Guys read a newspaper. Team Rocket's on the loose and they're doing bad things. Oh, Mount Moon. Rock Tunnel's the one you need flashing. 
It's been a while. I needed this. I gotta re refresh my brain. Alright, here we go. Mount Moon. And we found TM09 Bullet Seed. Ooh, that's not a bad move. And we got that trainer up here, I believe. Another bug type. So let's go ahead and... That's Pokedex. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, ha! Ah. See, I'm still getting used to my button configuration. Uh, let's see. Let's put out Beedrill. Get you to level 14. What? Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Well, I'm a 10 year old boy, so. You put two and two together. Unless you're insinuating that I am not a suspicious man, but yet you still question my motives. He knows too much. He wants to be destroyed. Kill him, Pedro! Two! Aw, oh, come on. Come on. You need more than two. Come on, Pedro. By the way, now that I've got a moment here to talk, uh, as we go along, if you stay with the series live, and you would like to submit some ideas for names for my Pokemon, obviously you can tell, as you can see, I left Beedrill unnamed. I decided to give you guys that opportunity. If you can come up with some good ideas, just, you know, spam in the chat, or chat, in the uh, comments below. Either just random names for random Pokemon, if I see something I like them, I appropriate it. Uh, or if there's specific ones in this game you'd like to see me catch and name, I would do that too. There are some, uh, some that are off the table, I will tell you that much. If I do catch a uh, Magikarp that's female, it will be named Shiva, and it will most likely be in my party. Unless, of course, I decide to go a different route. With my team, and if I do finally get my Nidoran male, uh, it will be named Roman. And no, I did not name him after Roman Reigns. Although I do like to do that now, whenever I use a Nidoking in a game, whenever I use like Earthquake or something, I go acknowledge me, or in this case, acknowledge Nidoking. It's a Zubat. Senor Zubat. Blindy McBlinderson. Uh, not interested. Thanks. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. I want this item, though. Paralyze Heal. That'll come in handy. Although, now that I mention it, maybe I should, uh... put Pikachu out front, you know? Of course, you know, as soon as I do that, it'll be nothing but Geodude all the way. Okay, wait a minute, I think you have a Pidgey. I might be... Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. Do you have Pidgey or Bellsprout? I hope it's not Bellsprout. But first, uh, yeah. Hi, Zubat. Level 10 Zubat. I mean, part of me is like, ah, I should catch it for the Pokedex, but on this game, there really is no point being a, a ROM, so... There's nothing I can do with it. Uh, if this were on, you know, my gaming system, and I could attach it to the uh, online Pokemon resource, and, you know, send them along if I wanted to, that'd be a different story, but they're not going beyond this computer, so. Whoops! I hit the wrong button. My bad. What do you got? Oh, there was a fairy. Crap, I got the wrong Pokemon out there, but that's alright. little going away present from Pikachu. Aha! Encore. Hmm. Well, I was getting ready to switch out. Does that mean I can't switch out now? I know I can still switch. Haha, <laughs> that's for you. Haha, <laughs> broke the system. You're paralyzed and you have a terrible move. Congratulations. I love Encore. It's like every time someone uses it, it's like, uh... Well, I was using a super effective move and, and planned on doing it again anyway, so... Your bone. 
double slap. Bah, you missed. What is this? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond? Does my Mankey already love me? It's like, love. Love. Actually, I don't know if there is a friendship meter on this version. I assume not, because I don't think any of these Pokemon can or will evolve due to relationship. I mean, Zubat becomes Crobat, but... Oh, yes, you lost, my dear. I'm sorry, but you were defeated. Soundly. Let's go down the ladder. Perez! Oh, boy! Okay, should I or shouldn't I catch Paris? Paris. Ham? Considering it. Because it would be plant grass. Alright, no, plant bug. I just said two. Plant grass. Uh, plant bug, which means it get murdered by fire. But. Would give me a grass type. Yeah. Well, I, I'm kind of partial to Oddish and Wild uh, Blue. Ah, not today. Sorry, Paris. I just don't think you're worth it in this case. All right. Ah, we got our first bad guy. So he's either gonna have a Ranata or. Oh, uh, what will you have? I don't know. Let's just do Butterfree. It's probably it's probably a drowsy. Uh, let's see. Uh, bad guy voice. Uh, we Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Oh, do you now? Let's see your strength. I bet it's a Zubat. Oh, it's a Sandshrew. Good call on the Butterfree. Oh, I forgot that they carry Sancho sometimes. Sometimes I like to sing along to the songs. Although, if I don't sync this video and audio correctly, it might look weird and sound weird. <laughs> Stun Spore. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like Paralysis. We'll get rid of Harden. Alright, moving on. Come on, go faster. Faster. I'm not gonna hit the button. I'm gonna save that for special occasions. Alright, let's switch out. Uh, go get him, Beedrill. You're only level 13. I think you're close. So, yeah. Start thinking up some good names. Some association. Uh, let's go Fury Attack. You know, you got a winged insect with poison. You know. I'm not gonna throw out any ideas because I don't want to mess up anybody. Like, oh, that's the one I would have picked. But yeah, just throw some throw some names down in the comment section. Even if you're just watching this for fun because you want to support me, and I love you for it. Throw a comment down there. Heck, just comment. I don't care what you say. Well, I mean, be nice. Always be nice. A, B, N. Always be nice. Alright, what we got? Zubat's coming. Alright. We got Tramp Pikachu. We gotta get ready for the battle against Misty. It'd be interesting if they continue the canon of Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, uh, Yellow, Fire Red, Leaf Green, all those. Like, if you could, like, revisit Kanto and... Alright, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out there because I keep hoping it would come to fruition. But as somebody who is of the generation that grew up on Pokemon when it first came out, 
with, you know, the originals. We're all adults now. Some of us are borderline too old for this stuff. You know, while well, some of us uh, refuse to let go. You know, I've been playing Pokemon pretty much nonstop my whole life since it started. So, I'm into it for the long haul. Chances are I'll be a 50-year-old man going, Oh, the new Pokemon! Aluminum's coming out! I gotta get it! I realize 50s is, isn't indicative, <laughs> indicative of that voice, but it'll feel like it. I always joke, it's like, ah, if I make it to the 50s, I'll be happy. Uh, gee, dude, I'm not gonna be able to... Nah. I think I'm gonna go for Diglett for uh, Lieutenant Surge, so... Yeah, we don't need Geodude. But Geodude is always good for uh, XP. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. I would love to see it if we could revisit Kanto. You know, Red's like in his 30s, you know, giving up on his former glory. You know, he was up on a mountain in the Gen 2 games where you could have challenged him just kind of like... I don't know, just standing there. It looked like he was gonna jump, to be completely honest. He's like standing on the edge of a mound, it's like, my life's not worth living unless I can find someone who can defeat me in a Pokemon battle, and you show up and he's got like a level 80 Pikachu, and you're just like, what the? Get a Thunderstone, man! But I would love to see it, and like, I don't know, give it a more mature theme. I'm not saying like it has to have, you know, dirty stuff in it, or like crazy violence or anything. Although I watched uh, Ray Navarez play Pokemon Unbound, and I'm just like, you know what? That's uh, that's crazy. Because uh, Houndoom in there, spoiler alert, uh, murders somebody. Like not in like. Uh, in the sense that I would use in this game where I'm like, oh man, I murdered that guy. Not one of his Pokemon can touch me. Knock them all out. No, I mean like literally murder. Like straight up incinerated. And then they like take their ashes and they do stuff with it. I'm not going to go into it. Because maybe you'll watch uh, Gray's playthrough or maybe you'll play it yourself someday. I'll probably play it at some point. Uh, I hope to at least. Okay, is Steel typing in this now? Yes, it is. Okay, in this, this version they added steel typing, awesome. I don't think they added fairy typing yet. Which is why I was able to... <laughs> the Clefairy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't have any ground moves. But then again, it only has tackle. Alright, Flint, we'll just brute force it. Will you stab? Uh, but yeah, just uh, a more mature one would be kind of cool. You know, like middle-aged... Red is dealing with a divorce from Misty and <sighs> child support and, you know, because he, uh, he gave up on being the champion a long time ago and she's been providing all the money and he's a bum. Yeah, no, maybe not that. But, but just, you know, something like that would be kind of cool. You know, something for, for guys my age who... You know, want to get nostalgic, but also, you know, I want to see what Red's doing these days. It'd be kind of cool if he showed up in any of the games, to be honest. But, probably won't happen. They're always about making new regions, new Pokemon, like... Eventually, there's going to be as many Pokemon in the Pokemon universe as there are actual animals in the regular universe. It's crazy. Pretty soon... You're gonna see. This is a Pokemon. It's Phoneary. Woo! It's a ghost type. Ah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of them are alright. Like, I, my original reaction to Trubbish was, why? Clef key? Really? Keys? Keys? I, I, I don't. I didn't get it. But yeah, you know, some of them. Oh, a rare candy. Nice. Uh, some of them were grown on me, but mostly I'm just like... <sighs> there are plenty of Pokemon. Let's just... Let's just... Cut it there. 
I like, I do like the typing changes uh, from uh, different regions. That's actually not bad. Uh, let's see, let's go Pidgey. Pidgey's good to train up as a backup against Star Me and Star You. Because at least you can blind the hell out of them. It's like, ah, good luck hitting your bubble beam now, bitch. So yeah, more like regional variations I'd be cool with, but like I said, we could probably stop making new ones. And we could definitely stop making ones that are humanoid in nature. Some of them are. If you watch my Pokemon card openings, you may have heard me. I just, I'm real uncomfortable with Pokemon that have clearly been designed to have attractive qualities. I.e. Lil' Punny, Gardevoir, even Salazzle in some markets. And I get it. Some people out there, that's your kink. And you know what? Hey, more power to you, but you know, I, it's not mine. <laughs> so sorry if it makes me a little uncomfortable. But Lil' Punny has just got them curvy hips, and the ears that look like a ponytail thing, and I know you're probably saying maybe it's what you see that you're... I am lonely. I am a lonely man, but that's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can get away from those. I like animals. I like animals. Or just way crazy out there things like Palkia. It's like, what the heck is it? Although if I get a, if we get another Pikachu clone, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and punch. I don't know a thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch that plush Pikachu that's sitting over on the just right in the face on camera. You're just gonna watch me. I'm on deck it. Yeah, yeah. You watch a Pikachu. It's like we don't need more want to be Pikachus. I mean, even Mimikyu is trying to be Pikachu, and it's not even electric type. It's a ghost. Might be ghost star. It might be dual typing ghost dark. I'm not sure. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and knock this Paris out. Get that little XP and get to level 15. Uh -oh. Getting there. Hopefully, uh, escape rope. Nice. Let's run here. This guy just wants to talk. Oh, but first. Ah, Zubat. Right. Pikachu. Uh, I might end up grinding Pikachu off screen again if I don't get to work on your levels. Really, that's what you gotta do in this tunnel. They give you all these Zubats that are weak to electricity for a reason. Hi, I'm excavating for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock a Pewter Jim lends me a hand. Oh, good for you. Ooh, okay, I'm pretty sure you have a plant type, so we're gonna go ahead and switch out the plant. Um, yeah. 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 Wow, well, it's like way bigger in here than I thought. <coughs> Wrong voice. Ugh. Last Miriam would like the battle and she sent it down an otter seat. I remember. It just goes to show you, I played it probably way too much. And I'm gonna play it all over again, so <laughs> here we go, you know. And hopefully uh, what I plan on doing is uh, hitting every generation on uh, this channel. So you'll get to see me play this one, and then the next one I'll probably do either like Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Uh, basically, I just want to get away from the original versions because of how grindy in nature they were. They didn't have all the little extra stuff like a Versus Seeker that you can use to help. Like, uh, like on this one, there's a nice little spot to the left of uh, Celadon City where you can just grind on some poison and fighting types with anything that has a psychic move. 
And if you use an EXP share, you can use it to uh, buff up a uh, weak Pokemon while cranking up your uh, Psychic type of choice. Mine's usually uh, Kadabra. Although I didn't have friends, so it was only ever Kadabra. Alright. Keep forgetting to switch back to Pikachu. Wasting all that opportunity for XP. Alright, here we go. Alright, Pikachu, let's do some bat extermination. Bye bye. Yeah. Alrighty. And down the ladder I go. And boom goes the dynamite. Alright. Uh, I feel like this guy definitely has a rat. It could be wrong. We'll find it. Or drowsy. Might be drowsy. Ah, it's a zoom back. Dang it. That's still not good. Although I do have scratch attacks, so I'll just have to scratch it to death. I will say, I did appreciate what they did with Zubat. I don't know if that would happen on uh, Diamond, the new Diamond, or if it had happened earlier. But instead of having Leech Life, they gave it Absorb, which, like, early on is perfect move to have because there are just Geodude everywhere that you can train on. So that's just a perfect situation. So, thank you. Thank you for that. Though I, though I didn't go with Crobat, I, I, I did appreciate it. Because, you know, life's about uh, variety. So that's when I'd be a little different. Like me. I'm a little different. Anyway. Alright, Confusion is super effective. Goodbye, Ekans. The snack is defeated. Oh, you are good. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to be voicing these characters. Missing a huge opportunity to flex my muscles as a future voiceover artist. That'll never happen. Unless they're looking for a nasally high-pitched guy's voice. It ain't gonna happen. Oh, you're level 10. You're level 10. That's much better than level 5. Ugh, I may regret it. Alright, Perez. Pokemon go! One, two, three, and... There it is. Got it! Alright, I caught a Perez. I gave in. Perez, the mushroom Pokemon, standing 1 foot 11.9 pounds. In this corner, standing 1 foot 11.9 pounds. Growing out of the bug's back are mushrooms called. Tochucaso. Tochucaso. Tochucaso! The mushrooms grow with the bug host. Of course, you know anything about Paraz and Paraset, it's basically a zombie. The mushroom fungus is in his brain, controls it. Uh, no nickname for Paris, so there you go, there's a Paris. Start thinking of nicknames for Paras, and nothing too obvious. And not Paras, because that's just lowbrow humor. And I don't do that here. Meanwhile, here comes my rival. Hey, Dick! Another one? That's alright. We're good, thanks. Hey, thanks. Bye! Okay, thanks, love you, bye! Whoa. Oh, let me get to the ladder. I'm gonna wish I had repels. Oh. Well, I guess we're in this now. I've committed. Actually, there we go. <laughs> ha! 
mock speed, bitch. Alright, kid, what do you got? You probably got, like, Atkins or Rattata. You know, Pikachu, we just really need to train you, so let's just put you out there anyways. Hopefully it's a rat. We'll start with a rat. Need a rat first. Whoa! Boy, boss, get in! Alright, what do you got? Alright, you start with a rat. You call. You know what? I'm gonna speed these up. We're just gonna not. Ooh! Alright, Pikachu. I guess that's it for you on that one. Level 15, though. Level 15. Very nice, very nice. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Level 10, yes. Oh man, see I can never bring myself to be this guy. Yeah. Why not? Okay. I got strats in my mind now. Oh well I can take out Zubat in one hit. Screw that. Oh no. So here's the plan. Alright, double team. Misty's gonna have Star U and Starmie. Starmie is a tank. And a pain in the butt. If I level up Pikachu enough, I can outspeed it. But I think I have to get Pikachu to like level 19 or 20 to really be effective. Ooh, I'm rolling away. So, the strat will be since Star U is just a little weaker. And I shouldn't have as much trouble with it. Maybe I can set up double team against Staryu. And then drop the hammer after a couple on it. In the form of electricity. And then I'm gonna put up Mankey. Then hopefully my evasiveness will be so high that Starmie can't hit me. Starmie, Starmie. And uh just, you know, spam Thundershock until it's dead. Because you know it's going to use Recover, she's going to use a Super Potion or something. But yeah, that sounds like a solid strat. Alright. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and... I'm going to fast forward after this battle. We'll just cut right to the guy with the fossils. So after I get done owning this guy, we'll go to that. Because there's really, you know, no reason that you have to watch every battle. I run out of things to say, and then just be boring, wouldn't it? Oh no, he's using mind attack. Oh no, I've been hurt by mind. Plus, I'll probably go heal before I attack the second half of this, so it'll give me an opportunity to speed through this and save you. The annoyance of sitting through it all. So, with that, I'll see you at the Fossil Maniac. See if I can catch it. Oh. One, two. Hey, Kofi! 
All right. All right, I've grinded. I caught a Clefairy. I'm heading my way back from healing. I got taken out by a freaking Hyper Fang by one of Team Rocket. By the way, Clefairy, start thinking names. Oh my gosh. That was, a, that was horrible. I'm in try, I tried. I'm trying, Beedrill. I, I want to keep my shiny. I really do. But I just have a feeling it's not going to happen, brother. Or er, sister. It's a girl, isn't it? Yeah, it's a girl. It's a lady, Beedrill. I just don't think I'm going to be able to hold on to you, sweetheart. He just don't do goo. At least not right now. I mean, you gotta get that attack stat jacked up pretty high. Although, in, in my in in, in Bidro's defense, I probably should have used Fury Attack. Honestly, I was using Poison Sting. I was hoping for the poison. It just never happened. But we're on our way back to the fossil guy, and might as well get some training in. Get Pikachu to level 16. So that we can move on with the story. Alright, Fossil Man. Let's see. I know he's going to have a Grimer. So let's just... You know what? Beedrill, I'm going to give you another shot. Don't let me down. Let's do it. Hey! Uh, this is technically a scientist, so let's make all scientists universal. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. And now he's gonna challenge me to a fight? Are you crazy? You claimed him and then you're fighting me for him? What's wrong with you, man? Alright, let's go, Grimer. I'm resisting the poison, so you can't hurt me. Although I think they have a high defense rating, so I might be in trouble. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh, you're only gonna give me two? Beedrill, you're killing me, Smalls. Come on, man. Come on, more than two. All right, let's keep going. All right, three's more than two. That's a that's a step forward. Ah, uh, it's using hard. It's using an hard. Din, 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 din. I can do that too if I wanted. All right, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, crit. Crit matters. Good job, Beedrill. Gotta get you caught up with the rest of the team. Voltorb. It also doesn't have Sonic Boom. Probably alright. Although 12, yeah, 12 three times would murder me. This is another one that has probably a high defense rating. Nice crit. Good job, Beedrill. Oh, the full five, baby! Add a girl. Add a girl. She's trying. She's trying. I'm, give, I, I'm going to give her a chance, you know? You don't just put shiny Pokemon inside like they're nothing, alright? I gotta give her a shot to make the team. But I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna have room for, uh, you know. one bug type, so it's got to be one or the other. It's got to be Beedrill or Butterfree. Although, that's down to I'm not going to have to worry about it long term. Although, I am looking forward to Beedrill in the uh, Celadon Gym against Erica. That might be nice. Anyway, Butterfree, wipe it out of confusion. One hit. Boom. KO. One hit KO. Boom. Shaka Laka. Ding. All right, nerd. Okay, I'll share. In case you're wondering what that impression is and you haven't seen the first video, that is my Krillin from Dragon Ball before he grew up and was only slightly taller. All right, so here we go. Which one are we going to take? That one or that one? He likes or are we going to take the uh, Kabutops? He, Kabutops Ramonite. I got a coin, all right? So we're gonna go heads left, tails right. It's a Dragonite coin, Pokemon coin. So heads left, tails right, we're gonna flip it. And the winner is heads. 
Looks like we're gonna go Helix Fossil. <laughs> okay, so I forgot which side was which. I didn't look prior, so we're going Dome Fossil. <laughs> we're gonna get Kabuto, which honestly is the cooler of the two. All right. All right, then this fossil is mine. All right, man. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. Oh, thank you. I have a goal. To regenerate this fossil. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. But before we go, let's level up this Beedrill. It's a plant type too. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, and a poison. Nice. Beedrill coming on strong. Oh, you stun sporing piece of crap. You sucker! Haha, uh -huh, your poison is hurting you. Na 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 na. No scratch attack. No noise. Alright. We will get out of this cave and at which point we will wrap this episode up. And Bijou has reached level 15. Ooh, focus energy. Alright, now I'm not one to usually use strats, but you know what? If this is going to increase my, uh, yeah, critical hit ratio, let's get rid of Harden. Next will be String Chop. Alright, 1, 2, and poof. Goodbye, Harden. Hello, Focus Energy. Because when you're hitting five times, potentially, uh, a high crit ratio, it's nice. Alright, another antidote. Although at this point, I don't need it. Alrighty. Oh, the sunlight is bright. I've been in that cave for what feels like an eternity. Oh, these guys. I'm not going to bother these guys. These guys will teach you either focus or... I think it's Mega Punch or Mega Kick. I think. They're fighting moves regardless. So, what's this? TMO5 Roar. Well, there's a useless move. Alright, let's run. And... We are here at Cerulean City. And with that, we're out of Mount Moon and we're ready for our next part of the mission. Uh, we'll grind a little more off screen, get the levels up, and um, I think we'll take out Misty first. Maybe. I don't know. I'll flip a coin to decide which one. Alright, let's do that right now. Before we leave, we'll plan for next time. Heads, we go north, so heads is up. Or Tails, we take on Misty, so either that requires grinding, that one not as much. So Heads, Tails. It's Heads, we're going north. Alright, so next time when we come back, we will be taking on the Rival and Nugget Bridge and going to see Bill. So, Bill, 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 we're going to go see him. Anyways, with that, that is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like, thumbs up below the screen if you're watching on a tiny screen. If you're on the big screen, minimize it, hit the like. And then uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Ring the bell so that you can get notified for when new episodes are uploaded. If you need to get caught up, there will be a, uh, a, a uh, playlist for you to watch all these videos. If you ever get bored and want to binge it. And, uh, Hopefully you're having a good time. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying dropping back into the world of Pokemon Red. Uh, especially the, the Red uh, Fire version. Love this version. Although technically I probably should have gone Leaf, Leaf Green, but really there's no difference other than a couple exclusives. But anyway, enough rambling on my part. Thank you for stopping by. I hope I see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. 